I'm so sorry. I am so late today. <gasps> it's been one of those days today. Like literally one of those days. Flip the screen. There we go. Hi, Shelly. I got something nice in the mail from you today. Oh, that was Shelly Young, not Shelly the Arcy. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Priscilla. Yes, I got something nice from Priscilla, actually. I'm glad the comments are working. That's a good start. So we had a crazy, crazy morning. Literally nutto, but we are here. So that's a good start. And I'm going to be doing some crafting today with a brand new stamp set, which is a host stamp set. And I honestly have not even planned what we're going to be doing. It is the story of our lives, isn't it? It's like chasing our tails all over the place. But I'm using this one today, the very vintage stamp set, which is a gorgeous new host stamp set from the new catalogue coming up. How many days have we got? 16 days left. Woohoo! Cannot wait for this new catalogue. I'm like seriously on the countdown. So something that I've been telling my customers, particularly when we get to the new catalogue, 1st of June, finally can order. Um... So it's a good time to look at those host stamp sets because we'll probably do a bulk order and that's when we can get those cool host stamp sets. You haven't got that one yet? Oh, I'm very excited about this one. It reminds me of um, a, another vintage one that we had in the past, but I actually prefer this one. 16 more sleeps. So yes, please keep that in mind that you need to hit the $250 mark here in Australia in order to get the host rewards. So usually our first order is pretty big one. So that would be the time to look at the host stamp sets. There's five amazing host stamp sets in the new catalogue and they're all amazing. Is it five or maybe six? Actually, I'll have a look because I'm sure I've got that number wrong. I won't show you though because we can't show inside the catalogue yet. <laughs> my, my customers, actually what's the date? This week I think Stampin' Up! said that they'll start sending out the catalogues. I think it was from the 16th so we've got one what is it springtime stroll very vintage pressed flowers artfully folded which you saw the card made artfully folded uh, seasoned with kindness hand delivered so there's quite a few one two three four five six yes six new stamp sets in the host section hello everyone good to see you here so, yes, I think it'll be a good one for the pre-order. Um, demonstrators, if you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order that now, which I had to get my hands on it. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I love it. So I want to show you a couple of my Random Act of Kindness cards that we've received this week. If you're not part of the Random Act of Kindness group, please come and join us because it is so, so much fun being able to give back to people and to, yeah, make each other's days brighter. Because I know when I get these cards, I just love every single one that I receive. Hello from New Zealand, Rebecca. So this one here was from Shelley, Shelley Young. She used the gorgeous um, Statement of the Heart uh, step set. It really is a great group. I love it. Um, the other really good group that you can jump in on is the Love It Chopper group. And that's what Shelley wrote in her card. Um, she said that she's... Um, Embrace, love it, chop it, and that this style of card is helping to deplete my leftover pieces of designer series paper. That can be beautiful projects too. So she's used a lot of different scrap pieces. Yes, it did. It arrived, Shelley. Thank you. And I absolutely love you doing the stitch shapes and um, the circle layered. It's amazing with that. So that's the perfect cutout, I think the perfect frame for that. So this stamp set is only going to be available till the end of this month. And after that, you cannot get the Statement of the Heart stamp set. It's only available in the bundle, uh, the Gotta Have It All bundle with the Share What You Love. And it is a gorgeous sentiment to love what we do, to share what we love and help and as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments in this we make a difference. And it is a beautiful saying because it's not just for stamping up, but I think in general, if we share what we love with other people, if we share positivity, if we share creativity, anything that's good and worthwhile 
it does make a difference in people's lives. It's huge the difference it makes. Like I know some of these cards have gone to people, um, random act of kindness cards, and it's just like made their day. Like they just said, thank you so much. It came at the perfect time. Um, we were really struggling and, and a card arrived just, just at the right time. Even my mum, she she did her first creating with me here in Australia. She went back to New Zealand and she's like, no, no, I haven't caught the bug. I don't, I'm not into card making. I've decided it's not for me. I'm like, sure, no problem, mum. She went back to New Zealand and she said, the bug hit me again and I had to make some cards. So I made some cards for some older ladies down in our in our area. And she goes, oh my goodness, they were so happy when I gave them the cards. And I'm like, yeah, I know, it's kind of addictive. Like, that's why we make cards is to give it to people. And um, they're not actually retiring it, Tracy. It's just a special stamp set that's just for this month only. So... Definitely look at getting that one. Beautiful. So only with the bundle you can get that. The Share What You Love bundle. Now this gorgeous card is from Tanya Johnson. <clears throat> and Tanya used the Share What You Love paper there in the background, which again is only with the Gotta Have It All bundle. Tanya, your words on the inside of this card were just so beautiful. She's such a sweetie. Um, some of the things that she wrote is just, um, she goes, I wanted to thank you for creating the opportunity for us to make a difference in each other's lives. It's nice to know that we're all connected and committed to making this world a better place. You are so giving of your time to others and you have a way of making people smile and feel worthwhile. You are a blessing to so many. Oh, Tanya, so many beautiful words. And that to me is just, I'm going to get all teary now, <laughs> but it's so beautiful that we have this amazing gift to give each other that does connect us and does help each other to keep going and do the same for others. Maybe people who aren't as fortunate as us, um, people who are in tough situations. It's really special that we have this gift. So you can say, what can I do for someone? I can't do anything. Maybe you don't have you know, much money or much income, but this is like the most beautiful gift you could get, ever give to someone is a beautiful card with beautiful words on the inside that encourages them to keep going and to continue being positive. It's a really, really nice thing to do because it can be very negative this world these days, can't it? We look at the news and then we're like, <laughs> depressing. Oh, no worries, Anne. I'll forgive you. I'll let you put a big order in. <laughs> Shopping is fun, right? <laughs> now, this one was from the lovely Priscilla Gunton, who, talking about positivity, is just the most adorable, wonderful woman. She is so, so cute and she brings a lot of joy into a lot of people's lives. When we um, meet at On Stage, we count down till we can give each other a big hug. <laughs> and she said, I have to get one from Bruno too. <laughs> pleasure, Kate. I'm so glad they arrived. <laughs> so it's, um, yeah, it's always a pleasure meeting uh, Priscilla. We're always like, where's Priscilla? I need my hug. <laughs> so she made this super cute card gorgeous paper as well and she's used the three different types which I thought was a very nice way of using the paper so hashtag love it chop it hey Priscilla she loves hashtag love it chop it <laughs> so she actually um this class she actually said in the card that she made it in class today at Morel Taylor so Morel Taylor is a stampin up demonstrator here in Australia as well a very successful one at that and so she made that at Morel's class. So thank you to Morel as well for inspiring, inspiring Priscilla and then her passing it on to me. See how we're all connected. Look at that. We all have a part to play. Now, this stunning one was from Karen Henderson, all the way from the UK. I'm glad you're doing Love It, Chop It. Yes, we've got to Love It, Chop It. So you probably can't see it too well with the light, but this has the most gorgeous wink of Stella all over this. Hey, Jenny, good to see you. And I absolutely love how um, Karen has actually used the, it, it must be the Wood Textures DSP. That's such a popular paper, that one. And she's even stamped on the paper. So that's a beautiful way to make a gorgeous card. So thank you, Karen, that was really nice. And she gave a, a nice little note there as well on the 
um, fantastic Memories and More cards. They're so useful like that. But she said she's been watching the Random Act of Kindness group for a while, but this is the first time I have made and sent a card to participate. How privileged. I'm so privileged, Karen, that I'm one of your first cards that you have sent. So she said she's had a lot of fun making and sending these happy mail cards, and I hope that it finds you well. So, and she's hoping that she can do the blog hop. I really hope that you can be part of the Random Act of Kindness blog hop, Karen. We would love to have you in that. And anyone who's part of the Random Act of Kindness group can join that blog hop, which is going to be at the end of the month. So please look out for that. We usually share cards that we have sent, but also cards that we have received as well. So it's a lot of fun, that blog hop. And it's a good way to sort of you know how they say good habits can be made or forged by uh, accountability? So it's kind of a good thing to keep you accountable. If you think, oh, I haven't sent any cards or even if it's just one card that you're sending for the month, if that's all your time allows you to do, um, then great. That's all you can do. So don't put yourself under too much pressure to send out hundreds of cards. Some send you know, we, on the group, I've seen some of the stacks of cards that some people, Kayla McCauley's one of them, Artisan Design Team member, and there's been, um, Tanya was having a really down day, and she's like, you know what, I was having a down day, so I thought the best thing I can do is give back to others, and she goes, I feel a lot better now that I've given to other people, so it's a really great way to create a bit of positivity, to think about other people, because, you know, we have our own stuff, but sometimes it's good just to think about something else, break the cycle of woe is me and um, do something positive, which is really good. So come and join us on the Random Act of Kindness group. We'll get lots of um, requests today. I'll put the link up for you all. So thank you very much for that card, Karen. That was absolutely gorgeous. This one came today and I love what Michelle has done here. This is Michelle Mills, who is in my team. And she's got that cute little piggy, this little piggy, which I absolutely adore. He's such a cute little piggy. And on the back, this is how Michelle has used this statement of the heart, which I thought was a really nice idea. Someone else, I think Tanya shared that one too, that she's using it, using it a lot more now that she's putting it on the back of her cards. So that's a nice little addition that you could add using that stamp set to sort of put it on every little thing at the, the back of the card, which I thought was an excellent idea. So I think that's all the random act of kindness cards. I've been having lots of fun posting all of them. Yes, that's all of those. Thank you all very much. Bruno, you will post the link. Yes, I will post the link. <laughs> oh, actually, I don't know if it's still happening, but I keep forgetting to tell everyone. So I'm going to say it now before I forget. But we do have our own retired sale. You got the idea from Jenny Hall. That's the one. Tanya, I knew she got the idea from someone to put it on the back. That was the idea. Thank you, Jenny Hall. So um, Bruno and I do have a retired list sale. It's items that are not retired just yet. So it's not the current things now that are retiring, but things in the past. So we will pop up the link to that. And I'm sure Bruno will probably organize the free postage here he is now. Hi, Bruno. How did you know I was talking about you? <laughs> so he'll pop up the link for the retired list and we'll probably do like a little special of free postage if you spend over a certain amount. But I'll let Bruno pop that up um, because he's been looking after that for me and doing an amazing job, getting all of your parcels sent out with a little gift inside, a little surprise as well. So um, if you to have a look at that retired list please do that and you could share that with others as well if you know that there's something that your customer might be looking for or a friend um, but sadly only in Australia there it is there Kylie's Facebook store on Shopify so yes spread the word on that one now there has been lots of exciting things happening as always in the Batucci household um, so this week we have the amazing Alaska blog hop. So I've been um, organizing that one with all the Stampin' Up! demonstrators who earned Alaska, which is coming up very quickly. In July, we'll be heading off, which is, yes, very, very soon, two months from now. So we're super excited about that. Thank you for pinning that link, Bruno. Um, oh, the new occasion catalogs just arrived. Yay! I'm happy to hear that, Annette. I'm glad we help, could help you out. 
and it joined just at the time where she got given the old ones and fortunately I had someone who needed the old ones so <laughs> that worked out very well we did a little swapsy so that worked out excellent I love it when things like that happen so yes this week's aim for Alaska and um, we've got the blog hop on Wednesday and I've got uh, a couple of new cut brand new cards I think two or three new cards that I'll be showing this week so look out for those um, of course, we have the Crazy Crafters highlights that are happening. And please make sure you head over um, because we have the – oh, thank you, Bruno. You just sent me a reminder. Um, we have the international highlights running at the moment, and there's a special encouragement card that we're sending to someone very special that all of us are connected to. So I'll put up the link for the international highlights that, so that you can go over and vote for your favourites. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Dobadoo. Good to see you all here. Now, another thing that Bruno just reminded me, we have our Love It Chop It Club happening right now. Now, that Love It Chop It Club is only going to be available until the end of this month and then it will close. So make sure that you sign up for the Love It Chop It. You can either get the paper or the cardstock and it's specific paper from the new catalogue and cardstock that matches it. So it's perfect with our Love It Chop It theme so that we can make lots of beautiful cards using the new designer series paper, which is just beautiful. Stampin' Up! just does the best paper. <laughs> and it's even more fun that it's double-sided. So with the Love It Chop It Club, we actually get the full 12 by 12 and we cut it in half. So you're getting like basically half a pack of paper. So it's a lot more paper than a paper share and a little bit different and you collect it over uh, four months so that you get every pack of paper well, almost everything. The um, laser cut paper was a bit challenging. I don't think we can cut that one in half. So we thought, we'll just let you get that one yourself. <laughs> we didn't want to mess with that one. So yeah, it's a great way to get all the paper and make sure that you get a good amount too. It's a it's a really good amount. So have a look at the Love It Chopper Club. Um, this week we have Jessica Taylor, who is hopping with the Crazy Crafters as a special guest. We're really looking forward to hopping with Jess. She's a very, very great, like, amazing demonstrator. She's done incredible. Why, thank you, Kylie Batucci, Stampin' Up! demonstrator. He's posting the link to the um, Love It Chop It Club. Not me. Bruno's pretending to be me again. <laughs> he's hijacking my, <laughs> hijacking my Facebook page. But he's good at that. I'll let him. <laughs> Uh, so we'll have a look at this beautiful, beautiful card that I am thinking of designing. It's beautiful in my head, but I haven't actually made it yet. So this will be very interesting to see. Uh, a bit of both, Tracy, because some of my stamp sets did get used, some didn't. And there's still some left over from, um, there was a beautiful demonstrator in my team, who Jessica, who sadly passed away. And so her mum contacted me and said, would you be able to sell Jessica's um, old stamp sets? And some of them weren't used. So that they are part of the retired sale as well. So that was nice to be able to help out her mum. And because, um, yeah, it was a very big thing when, when she passed away. She said, oh, my goodness, I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I said, send it. I'll look after you. Don't worry about it. It's the last thing you want us to be stressing about right now with everything else on top of it. So, yeah, some of them are new, but it's all listed. It'll say whether it's new or used. And, um, yeah, most of them have been very well looked after. Stamp and mist. <laughs> so they're, they're well conditioned. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to flip you around and we're going to make a card using this new one here. Hi, Rosemary. How nice to have you on here. I've got lots of exciting visitors with us today. Karen, 48 of you here so far live. It's all right. I won't get nervous. <sighs> Rosemary's here. <laughs> Big congratulations on earning Greece too. The Greek Isle Cruise. Yay. It's old news now, but, you know, I haven't said it officially on video. Oh, hello, brother. Look, Natalie is here. Hello, how are you? This is the only way he gets to talk to his sister. 
this is the only way he sees me. <laughs> he has to come on my Facebook Live. The other night I had um, Luke, then my dad jumped in, then um, our waiter from our last cruise jumped on. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip you over, so I'll just close this off. Hopefully I've organised my flipping a little bit better. <laughs> I was getting pretty bad at this. I'm like, what is going on? Why can't I get this right? So, flip. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. So I've, I've asked for a, another extension on the... Um, on the Archon stand. Because I said, I, I feel like I'm constantly getting this black base in my photos. And I had a look online... And I'm like, hang on, it's meant to come with three. Sorry, I'll just come down a bit. It's meant to come with three um, of the joints, and I've only got two. So I contacted them and said, um, what's going on? I only have two of the, the connectors. And he said, oh, we're really sorry, but um, it used to only have two, and then we decided to increase it to three. I'm like, no. Great. But anyway, I've ordered some more. But it did cost me another like $50. Sorry, this table's so messy. I'm just pretending it's neat. See? Pushing everything away. <laughs> uh, so dodgy. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look here. So, I have not planned this card. Literally, all I did was cut this. Because I'm I'm vibing some Night, night of Navy with some, to go with my nails, with some Whisper White because I love that look with the vintage style stamp sets. Have I swapped you around? No. Swap you. Oops, not that swap. We need the other swap. This one. And this one. That's better. Okay, so we have this Night of Navy cardstock. I've cut it in half like you would cut your normal card base. And what I'm going to do, it might bore you a little, but I know you'll be patient with me because I didn't get to pre-do anything. I'm going to do some embossing because I really like the look of this sort of broken up doily here. So I'm going to put that in the background and stamp that and get my trimmer. So I think I'll do a few layers just to create some nice, exciting interest. I'm looking for my whisper white. Oh, that's right. I covered it over here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll do, I've done a 10 by 14.4. I might even do it a little bit smaller than that. So I'm going to go for, I'll bring you over here so you can see. Oh, good, you can see on there. I'm going to go for just a couple of mil less. So 9.8 <clears throat> by 14.2. This will make sense to you in a moment. But I like having um, layers to my cards they're fun so there's that and then I'm going to come in and do three mil less than what I've just done so I did 14.2 so I'm going to do 13.9 centimeters and then we did 9.8 so I'm going to do 9.5 and hopefully that will line up nicely there yes so that's going to be one layer. Hi, who's doing? Oh, Luke, that's amazing. I know, isn't it so amazing, Luke? Quit your sarcasm, brother. <laughs> He's so cheeky. I don't know where we got it from. It's a Natoli genetic thing. <laughs> We're all just a little bit cheeky and a bit naughty. And we like it. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy just to get all the static off. If you don't use your embossing buddy, naughty. 
I always forget, don't worry. I forget and then and then I'm like, oh, it's missing pieces. Although with this style of card, it probably wouldn't matter if you're missing pieces because even the stamp set itself is missing pieces. So you'll be fine. The more rustic it looks, the more vintage it will look. It's a very forgiving card, this one. So I'm going to stamp this one here in some Versamark. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Luke is my brother, everyone. He's not some random stalker. <laughs> Normally we would block you, Luke. I'd be like, block. But since you're my brother, I'll let you stay. Anyone else and they'd be gone. I'd be like, oh, thank you so much for coming. Goodbye. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just haphazardly putting my Versamark. I'm not stressing too much about the middle. Can you see that there? Yeah, I'm not stressing about the middle because we're going to be covering that in a moment. So I'm putting some Whisper White embossing powder on top. And I like to get a piece that doesn't have any stamping to hold on to. Be generous because you can either use um, a lot of people use like a tub and spoon it over that's one way or you could do it um, using just a4 paper is the other way I do it very nice and just looking at this I feel it needs one little bit more on the edge here just tiny bit, but it'll just even it out a bit more. So, sorry, make sure you can see okay. So I'll put a little bit there as well. Just be careful not to touch your work. Although, again, in this situation, I don't think it matters too much because they're pretty vintage looking. <laughs> so I'll put that aside and then I'm going to come in with my you actually might be impressed with this, Luke, the em embossing gun. It is kind of like a power tool. Oh, I'll see you, Luke. Good to see you, bro. I think the men always get impressed with the heat gun and the big shot. I really like this stamp set. Konnichiwa, Kuniko-san. Genki desu ka? Hi, Sally. Good to see you. I'm just embossing at the moment. I wasn't organised beforehand, so you get to watch me emboss. <laughs> Kyle san are you in Japan or do you live here in Australia? You can help me practice my Japanese. Nihon Gorin Shishimasne. You're my sensei. I learnt Japanese at school. That's what happens when you live on the Gold Coast. Hey, Sandy. Oh, you're in Osaka. We loved Osaka. That was our favourite place in Japan. I do remember now you saying last time that you lived in Osaka. I'm pretty sure anyway. But we absolutely loved Osaka. It was like a cartoon. <laughs> we were walking down the street going, oh, my goodness, are these people real? <laughs> they look like they've come out of a cartoon. So that's going to be like that. Now, I want to cut a little piece here. So let's measure. I'm vibing because how big is the stamp? That's usually how I gauge it. You're getting to see everything from scratch. This is literally how I work out how to do the sizing and what my cards are. 
So I get my stamp set and I know that I want to do the stamp set plus a little bit of room for a sentiment. So looking at this is probably like 10.5 in height and probably 6.5. Anyway, we'll do the 10.5 and then I'll work it out from there because usually I like it to be um, the same ratio as the card itself. So if I'm doing, I'll probably end up doing 10, 10.4 because then that, that basically, normally the card size is 15.9 like the full card, but if I go from 14.4, it's like one, two, three, four centimeters less. I know this is probably very confusing to you, but it makes sense in my brain. <laughs> and so normally the mat is 14.4 by 10. So then I just go by four centimeters down, one, two, three, four, so by six. And then that will be like the proper measurement that will match evenly the card size because that's the matting. Does that make sense? So it will be perfectly even. I kind of, I know it sounds strange, but after a while you just get so used to the measurements that, um, yeah, you go by inches, I know. Sorry, we're metric peeps over here. Poor, poor people on my Love It Chopper group, they're like, the inches are not equaling the metric. And I'm like, no, the inches and the metric are separate because in inches you guys use a completely different measurement system to us. You use letter size and we use A4. So these poor, poor um, demonstrators, they're like, we're so confused because they don't match. <laughs> so I'm going to do this 6.3. Actually, I'll do it this side first. One, two, three. So I've done 10.4. So now I'm doing um, 10.7, three millimeters more. And we did six centimeters, so I'm gonna do 6.3. So that'll give it a nice three millimeter matting. There we go, three mils. I think I'm looking at getting some new blades soon. I do have some there too. So that's our, our little matting there. So I'm going to stamp that in the Night of Navy because I absolutely love the Night of Navy. I'll get the basic black while I'm at it because I'll probably do a sentiment with that. So the best thing about flowers and things like that is that you don't have to be too particular where you stamp it. It doesn't have to be even, unlike a sentiment. So I'm just going to gauge. Am I vibing bottom or top? I'm thinking I'll put the sentiment up the top. So we'll just go about there. So I've left a little bit of white space down the bottom. I don't want it to be too gathered up there. Oh! Look at that. Isn't that stunning? So actually, I'll probably do my sentiment in Night of Navy too. So I think I'll do a very simple one up in the corner. Or maybe Dear Friend, actually. Let's do Dear Friend. I'm actually very interested to see what people have come up with. Yes. Now that we don't have the stamper majig like i know we've got the stamparatus but sometimes we just want to pull it out and not measure i should actually get i, I need to actually get better with the stamparatus and lining up I mean, i'm using my grid paper here but a lot of times i'm not spot on so anyway i know you'll all forgive me if i'm crooked don't have Night of Navy. Oh, Rebecca, you'll have to get Night of Navy. It's one of my favourites. In fact, I went to Jackie E yesterday, which is a, a nice shop clothing store in Australia. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else. And, um, oh, got the edge. It's all right. This is where flipping over comes in handy. <laughs> 
do you all flip over? <laughs> I'm like, I can't leave it there. I just can't do it. <laughs> or you can cover it up. <laughs> That's the other way. <laughs> you can cover it with another sentiment <laughs> piece on top. Ta-da! <laughs> so had I not have wobbled or made sure that there was ink there, we would have been all set. It looks like my using the grid paper did help, but anyway. But yes, I went to Jackie E and there was a stunning, stunning jacket. I said to Bruno, can I just at least have a look? Yay! Beautiful. <laughs> Always the other side. <laughs> Thank you for the other side. <laughs> um, but yes, I got a beautiful Night of Navy jacket to go with my Night of Navy nails. I was very excited with that jacket. And you know what the best bit about getting that jacket was? It was 40% off. I do love a good sale. I was like, I have to get this jacket. It's stunning. Perfect for the Melbourne winter. Which isn't as bad as some of your winters. But we consider it bad. So if you haven't watched my videos before, I like using Tombow as my adhesive of choice. The reason for that is because I work in millimetres, which is small measurements, small metric measurements, and I love having a little bit of opportunity to move it around if I need to, just to get that right spot, because I can never eyeball it correctly. Oh, it's your favourite store, Sandy. I knew we had a lot in common. But yes, you can use... Um, the runner tape and things like that as well there's lots of different adhesive choices but this is the choice for me and it works well oh matches your nails too Ellen I'm so happy to hear that and then we're going to raise that of course on our dimensionals hopefully Bruno's left me some oh he's even been using the minis I think we're on a new one. Oh no, here it is. I was thinking I'm sure I saw some here. Here we go. Should I do a Bruno dimensionals? I love the way Bruno uses dimensionals. It's very exciting. It's actually very liberating when you use lots of dimensionals. You feel like you're being naughty. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, I use so many dimensionals. <laughs> Where's the bin? I'll put them straight in the bin, Bruno. Oh, it is here. The bin is right here. I love it when it's right next to me when I'm crafting. I think that took off a bit of my nail polish. How dare it. What stamp set? Hello, Rick. How are you? I will show you exactly what stamp set. It's our new host stamp set coming out in the new catalogue. Are they all off? Yes. So I'm going to show you the front. Very vintage. Loving the, the new um, fonts and everything too. So much easier to read. Yes, so loving this. Very, very nice. Good vintage stamp set. And then I'm just going to put that there. Hopefully that's straight. Did I get it straight? A mm, little bit. I should be using my grid paper. That's better. Can't believe what a difference it makes when I use the grid. Ta-da! And of course, we want to do the inside. Because, you know, I love dressing up my inside. And I really need to get better at dressing up my envelopes. So I'll do that while I'm here too. Because some of you are like, did you dress up your envelopes? And I even have them pre-stamped, ready to go. So I'll show you how I step that up too. So I'm going to do this. What measurement is this one? 10. Okay, so I'll do 14.4 by 10. Let's have a look at that on the inside. Make sure that that looks okay. Yep, that's happy. Yes, so then I'll just do a little bit of stamping on here and some stamping on the envelope. That's why I never clean my stamps in between because I always end up needing them again. 
the moment I clean them, I'm like, oh, I need to use that again. So we'll do a little bit in the corner there. And a little bit over there. Look at that. Gorgeous. And just be careful because this ink is very inky. So I'm just going to come over here. And do some on the envelope. Ta -da! So that's going to be the front, and that's going to be the envelope. Looks good, doesn't it? And then we'll glue this down and we've got ourselves a beautiful card that I didn't quite know how it was going to turn out. But thanks to you guys, it all happened. I hope you're creating with me. I love hearing that others are creating. So this will more than likely be one of my random act of kindness cards. So look out for that. And because all of you lovely ones are watching, we're definitely going to draw um, some winners because Brown and I have been through our markers and we have some double ups for some strange reason. <laughs> I think I've got too many marker cases as my rewards gift. <laughs> and I just kept, um, oh, you just went in order at least. I got on you. Um, so, yeah, we've got some little giveaways. So I'm going to do a couple of these, just give away two. And even if you've got doubles, I mean, I always find it handy having doubles for my markers because I like to write on the inside depending on what colour I use on my card. So with this, I'll use the Knight of Navy to write on the inside. So just leave a comment and um, when we finish the live, I'll draw a few winners and send you out some lovely markers, probably two or three in a pack. So just to thank you for all being here live. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. I'm going to flip you around and make sure I close my Night of Navy ink. I'm super excited about getting the new inks. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to change my entire set of inks to all the new ones because they just stack so well. I have to get better at this. So frustrating. I think once I get my third Archon little clip, it's going to make a big difference. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Glenda. Markers are the best. Oh, I'm way too high now. That's better. Yay! <laughs> Hey Candace, make sure you leave a comment and Jenny, because I'm giving away some markers. Yay! And Bruno uses the exciting woo box, which can take all the comments from my post and then it picks a winner. Oh, thank you, Anne Marie. Everyone's quickly they've stopped creating and they're quickly jumping on and leaving a comment, so that's good. So please look out for my post this week. There's lots of new things happening. I'll be posting this one on my blog tomorrow, so look out for that. Um, I'll just flip it around. And thank you for being here with me to make it live. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. You could do it a, a little bit softer or less um, busy if you want to with the less doilies. Um, totally up to you how you like it. Oh, very good. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, I like to do some giveaways. It's so much better than them sitting around here. Brenna's like, well, we can't sell them. And, you know, there's no point sitting here. None of them have been used. They're all brand new markers. So may as well go to some new homes. And we're slowly building up the um, stamps, as you can see. So we've only got the two empty ones. But I know that in... Um, June that will get happening. Oh, I'll let Priscilla, I'll let Bruno know. We need more Bruno videos. I agree. We do love our Bruno videos and he's very good at them. He's actually done, I think he's got a couple of cards there as well. So he could probably do another one. 
Uh, is the statement of the heart able to fit, fit, fit on the back of the envelopes? I actually do think so. I'll, I've got it here. <laughs> Very handy. <laughs> I just I just happened to have the statement of the heart here. I was actually using it for something. So um, it even fits on the, the envelope um, flap there. And yes, if, if I didn't put my name, then it would fit there as well. So it's a very good size. It's like stamping up new, but it would work very well on the envelope. So that's a nice idea, actually. I like that you said that, Alia. I'll definitely be stamping some envelopes with that as well, the statement of the heart. So thank you all very much. I hear that the new ink pads are cracking. Oh, I haven't had any problems with mine. Here's my new one, and I've used my mint macaron a lot. It looks happy. The old inks are starting to, yes, they're starting to get a lot fuller. You can see the new ones. So if you, if you look at these ones here, they're so bad. <laughs> but these ones, so neat and tidy. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to getting the new ones. <laughs> But yeah, I've had no problems with my new ink pads. But yeah, Stampin' Up! is so good. Like, if you have any dramas, you just let them know. Show, show, Take a photo, show them what's happening, and they're excellent. They always look after us. It's such a brilliant company. I've, I've never had problems where they've gone, no, sorry, we're not going to replace that. If they know that there's a problem, even with a stamp set, like if it's not stamping correctly, you just show them a photo of the image and then just message them or email them, send it off, and yeah. Yours are all okay, Donnie and mine are all good. I've not had, and I opened every single one of them and put the new, although this one. Oh, Brenna has a winner. Yeah, yeah. I need to put the, the other one on. FYI, if you want to put your stickers on, I found taking off, peeling off that, Big layer was the easiest way to go. Oh, thank you, Bruno. He's so good. I was like, oh, I'll finish that and then I'll do it. I know, isn't it the best? <laughs> the stamp name for, there's this one, the Statement of the Heart. I'm not sure if that was the one. Oh, Darina, how exciting. And very vintage was the stamp set that I used for my card. This can be my cover. So you've just seen my cover photo, everyone. Ready? <laughs> Rachel, Bruno is the best man in the world. That's who Bruno is. Bruno is someone that everyone wants to have. It's like, forget Siri. Forget, like, what's the Google one? <laughs> forget Allegra. Is that Allegra? <laughs> Bruno, I can hear him saying something from the other room. <laughs> yes, Bruno is the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> you are the wind beneath my wings. No, don't sing. Everyone does need a Bruno. He, Bruno is my organiser. He's my marketing manager. He's my creative um, expert. Alexa, that's the one. Sorry, I was calling it. What did I call her? <laughs> I had another one. <laughs> Alexandra. <laughs> Allegra, that's right. I named her Allegra. No, he's my. He's like better than Alexa. Better than Siri. He's my Bruno. I walk in and I go, lights on. <laughs> Spotify just called. <laughs> Allegra. It's the new one. Yeah, we all need a Bruno. Bruno is my husband extraordinaire. And now um, Bruno is working with me. Poor Bruno. <laughs> he doesn't go to work anymore. He just assists the business. We are now business partners. Hello, Wendy. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm having so much fun. The day is just disappearing. So yes, now Bruno and I are business partners and so far so good. It feels like every day is a holiday. It's like, oh yeah, we should do some work today, hadn't we, Bruno? <laughs> oh, hi Jay, good to see you on here. 
I was just winding up to say goodbye. Hey, Bruno, can you draw one more person? Because I've got a couple more markers here that I can give away. Why not? Is that painful? Oh, he's just doing it, he said. Thank you, Bruno. I can't wait to see you, Wendy. It's only two months away. Yay! Have you done your card for Wednesday? I've got like a little bit of a sneak peek here. Actually, I've got two cards and I don't know which one to pick. One has a flower on it. Bruno's already picked the one for Wednesday. That might be one of them. <laughs> and the other one is a get well card. Did you pick the um, get well card, did you, Bruno? This one. Oh, that one. Okay. I'll let you pick that one. You can sneak peek the one that I did. Oh, yes. That's a good sneak that's peek. That's my next video. Oh, he's doing a video for you, Priscilla. That's Bruno's next video. This is his sneak peek. He said I can sneak peek it. Oh, sneak peek. Here's another sneak peek. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be in Orlando. We're going to Orlando. I booked accommodation and I was like, oh, yeah, that won't come out until we um we go to the hotel and then we'll fix it up then. And then Britta's like, why did this money leave the credit card? And I'm like, oops, we have to make sure we go now. <laughs> We've paid for accommodation. Just better get some flights. <laughs> But I'm really looking forward to that. That's the 30th anniversary Stampin' Up! in November. And it's going to be Bruno and I's 15th wedding anniversary while we're at Centre Stage. Well, while we're at... Will it be Centre Stage? I think we might... No. No, we will be at On Stage. Oh, I know! Twice! It's going to be so good. Yay! Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. I think Bruno's going to get mobbed everyone wants a Bruno they're all gonna kidnap him and try and take him home <laughs> I'll have to get a bodyguard just for Bruno <laughs> yeah it's gonna be really good that's gonna be an amazing event oh Rachel Pomeroy congratulations you're gonna get some markers oh. <laughs> he's the next Richard Griffith <laughs> I love Richard. Rich is the coolest, but he's so tall. That's Dawn Griffith's husband. He's really tall. And like the first time I met him, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, Richard's cool. Yay, Rick. Yeah, I really like him. Every time we're with him, he's like a gentle giant. Yes, I know exactly. He's so kind and so lovely. <laughs> I'll be ready for the melon. Don't take my Bruno over my dead body. <laughs> so, yes, thank you all very much for being here. Oh, well, it's the same height. Your husband would be intimidating too until you get to know them. Oh, another one, Alison Lang. Yay. Thank you, Bruno. We've got three winners. We'll pack them up now so that you can have them hopefully. What's today, Monday? So hopefully you can have them in three weeks. <laughs> Aussie post. So bad. <laughs> so have a wonderful creative week. Have fun. Lo to my lovely customers, thank you for all your incredible orders this month. You girls, you girls have just rocked it. Like the share what you love bundle and retired goodies. It's been so cool. Uh, so if you want to go for another shop, please feel free. If you'd like to join the Crazy Crafters team, we're a lot of fun and I know you're going to absolutely love it. Um, yes, have a fabulous week to all of you. Thank you for being here and we'll see you next Monday for another live. I'm really glad you enjoyed it, Lynn. Please come again. We're here every time, the same time next week. So good to see you all. Mwah. Have a lovely week. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. See you.